So, hello again YouTube from the CNC or welding cave. My empire of gay chaos. So, there's, there's a huge mess in the garage, but anyways. Uh, I have I have some steel tubing in here. It's something like 1.5 millimeter wall thickness and I have tack welded it using my TIG and CO2 just because I've always wanted to know what happens if you try using CO2 everybody says you can't well I want to know why so in here I have this this soda machine bottle connected to a soda machine adapter and CO2 regulator. I'm using um, something like 8 liters per minute. This is liters per minute. Well anyhow, the flow rate isn't important. The test is because it's interesting. I have 23 amps DC on a TIG and I'm just gonna try melt that thing together see how it goes just for the heck of it there's no reason why just because I want to see what happens I'll be placing the camera on a table and I hope you can see something and then we take a look at the results when we get this thing welded. I hope you can see something, but here we go. Put my gloves on and let's see what happens. The tungsten is very dirty already from the tacking and from some little testing. Let's see what happens. Oh, far side. Yep. The arc is wandering a lot. Second side. Now it's getting some heat into it. And we have, yep, and it won't light. Let's see if I hold a piece a little. The tungsten is very dirty. final side. This is just for testing. So, the tungsten is very dirty. There is some, some stuff on the tungsten. And the glass cup is ruined. It's no bad matter, it's a Chinese cup. But yeah, take my gloves off. And let's see what we got. So, as you can see, it's kind of welded. some so did that one and that one I burned through it was running away 
and then the first one yeah looks like that so this is very interesting test so actually you could I hope it's not too hot you could weld it in a pinch if you don't have anything else and you have have an emergency or something and you need to weld two pieces together so it welded not much penetration because I I didn't use too much too much amperage Let's take a hammer and give it a little beating. We have something to use as an anvil. Uh, that old bench. Now it's, it's, let's give it a whack. Didn't come apart. Let's give it another whack. Oh, what do you know? It didn't crack. So, actually, you can join two metal pieces together. Using CO2 antique welder. So. Let's, let's give it some wire brushing. I'll put you guys aside for a second. seems a wire brushed, it's a little on the hot side still. Take the rag. Eh, it's not very very good looking welds. There's some porosity. It started welding better when I first tested this, but the tungsten is getting dirtier and dirtier over time. But even whacking it with a hammer, the seam is not breaking. So, emergency repair in the field or something, when you run, run out of argon and CO2 is the only thing you got. Or the MIG gas, the mixture with argon and co2 that actually works on steel pretty good i've i've used that before but would i recommend it no but it's 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 possible but yeah it was something i've wanted to test for a long time and now that i had a spare soda machine bottle I, I tested it and test the results, as you can see. But anyways, if you have any questions, put them down below. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, that would be nice. Not mandatory if you don't. Well, it's up to you, like everything is. But if you like this kind of content, give it a like. And you all stay safe and have a nice day. Bye.